kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and this will be the part 4 of my video series on background music. I mean the background video played using Android Studio with Echo Player. Okay, so guys, uh, we had done, we had fetched all the videos and now we need to create an adapter for our second view so that we display all the videos. So for that, let's create a new uh, package name and in here the package name will be adapters and then we can say new java class and our adapter name will be video adapter Alright, so here we have this video adapter class which we need to extend it with the cycler view dot adapter and in here we need to pass our view holder. So for the our view holder we can say video adapter dot video adapter view holder. Okay, so we need to create this class so we can say public class video adapter view holder and we need to extend it with the segment view dot view holder and also there is an error so we need to create the default constructor and if after we have this uh, default constructor so now here we need to uh, have some we need to have the uh, constructor for our this adapter so we can say public video adapter and here we will pass our context and then we can pass the array list because we are we are sending the array list from our activity to activity to this adapter so we need to receive the array list so here we can say video model array list videos all right and then we need to have our global variables and also for this array list of type video model List videos and inside our constructor we can simply say this dot contact equal to contact and this dot array list videos equal to array list videos. Okay, so here we will have we need to uh, implement these two methods and override. I mean, so there was. First of all, we will have the own create view holder and then we will have own find view holder. So, for this, uh, I mean, for the own create view holder, we need to create a layout resource file. So, we go to new layout resource file and we can say item videos and we need to select the relative layout as the root element then click ok so now our this uh, XML file has been created and here we need to use first of all the linear layout let's use the linear layout and let's set the height of it to be 200 dp then we can use a relative layout inside our and it will be match parent, match parent, and inside this uh, relative layout, what we are going to do is first of all we need to have an image for the thumbnail. So there we can use an image view. So there we you can say match parent and match parent, and we can say scale type to center crop, and let's set the ID to video with image. Okay, so now we have the image view here then we need to have another 
linear layout inside this so for this we can say linear layout and it will be match parent and the height for it will be 50 dp then we can say okay so here we will have a background and let's say background color primary then we need to set the gravity to be center vertical then we can say orientation will be horizontal and we can say align parent the bottom will be true and align parent start will also be true all right then we will have a view so that we have some space and here we have an error okay so inside this linear layout first of all we will have a view and it will be 15 dp and the height will be 0 dp then we will have the text view and it will be 0 dp and the height will be wrap content then weight will be 1 then we can say text video name then we can say ellipse size and it will be end then max line will be 1 then we can say text color and it will be android slash color white and yes okay so now here we have text view and let's set the id of it to be with name okay then finally we will have another text view for the duration so there we can say text view and it will be web content web content then the padding will be dp then we can say text to be 40 then we can set the id to meet duration then we can say text color and it will be white okay so here you so now you can see that we have this thing and here video name is not getting displayed let me see what is the issue and here it, the text appearance will be style Base dot compact dot medium video name I think I am missing something the weight is zero then we need to okay so here we will have a, a color overlay dark
color just remove the background and after this we now need to go back and here we need to have the get item count and instead of uh, zero we can say array this dot size okay and instead of this own create new folder so we can say new equal to layout inflator dot from and we can say new group dot get context dot inflate and we can inflate it like r dot layout dot item videos then we can say parent and false and instead of parent we can say view group and we can finally say return new uh, video adapter view folder and in there we can pass our view okay so after this we now need to uh, go to our own bind view holder method and inside this method we are going to check okay so here we can say glide we need to use glide dot width and we can pass our context then we can say dot load then here we can say arrange videos dot get i dot get video thumb dot into and there we can pass uh, the loader adapter Holder, then we can say view holder dot okay, so instead of this we can say cycler view dot view holder. Okay, so here we have the own bind view holder. Okay, so we have not already initialized our objects here. So for this, we can first of all need to have some the views here inside our class. So first of all, we have the public image view, and it will be image. Then we will have the public text view and it will be name and duration. So for this we can save here image equal to image view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot video image then here we will have the name as text view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot video name and finally we have the video duration okay so there you now we can simply say glide dot With and pass our context, then we can say dot load this video dot get i dot get video thumb. Dot into and there we can pass video loader dot image. Okay, then we need to set the name and duration. So for this we can say video adapter dot name dot set text. And there inside this set text we can say this dot get 
i.get video name plus dot plus video dot get i dot get extension all right and also you can say we can have video reholder dot duration dot set text and here you can say dot get i dot get video duration okay so i think that is enough for uh, this video and in our next part of the video we will try to test it and also you can uh, test it but when you open when you run the app you must have to enable the runtime permission okay so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye